wonder who it could be compromised. <laughs> compromised. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so here you'll get to see what the skirmisher can do. There's something in the smoke. <laughs> well, oh man, with our contact. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So the skirmisher. Look at this guy. Yeah. Mox. He's had some work done. I'm just gonna say. He it has. Now. He has. Yeah. So <laughs> the skirmishers are basically defectors from the Advent Army, and so okay. these are actually Advent units that are forming their own resistance group. And He's so using now, the Skulljacker, is, is that what that was? That's works? right, so yeah. he, and he, he, the, the Skirmisher, they call it a Ripjack, and basically the way the Skirmisher works is they take lots of actions. So they have a grapple from the start of the game, they have this uh, melee Ripjack thing, yep. and so they can fire or move with both actions, mm -hmm. and since the grapple's free, they end up, and a lot of their abilities are, are focused on the idea of like, they gain a lot of actions per turn, they can take a lot of actions, so okay. they can do a lot of things per turn. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I like the idea of, of this kind of like, messing with these different kind of mechanics a little bit which is that's really really cool yeah and that, that's you know for an expansion pack you just got it you know we added classes but we didn't want them to feel like just new core classes we wanted them to feel they function very differently yeah which is it which is, is interesting so i mean talking about that so we have we have these these new classes and we have all these kind of like really interesting mechanics like a grapple hook yeah. from from start with, with some of these characters is, has that affected the, the, the balance of the game a lot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it definitely have. So these so these units are very, very powerful. These these um, uh, um, faction heroes as we call them basically, like they're they're incredibly powerful. Um, and you need it though because we've added a lot of difficulty with the chosen, so we've had a lot of new difficult enemies, and so by the end of the game, the other thing too is that you kinda have to pick and choose because I talked about earlier how these guys, they buy their abilities yeah, with sure. ability points. And so the thing is you kind of have to pick and choose who it is you want to invest into. Right. Um, because you're kind of spending those ability points on each of your new faction soldiers. So these points are cumulative then, not... not. Yeah, so the, each soldier has their own internal points that they gain. Every time they level up, they mm -hmm. gain some new points. But then by doing like um, tactically smart moves in combat, let's say flanking enemies... Yeah doing an ambush you actually gain more ability points okay and then you can spend this pool of ability points on your faction soldiers that makes sense but right, you got to okay. choose who is it i really want to invest in because they have again they have lots of abilities mm -hmm. and, and so you can't you can't buy them all basically okay and i mean without giving too much away for the the actual storyline are all these factions available at start of game or are these things that come in the mid you, and the late you have to pay they start it, it starts very early you get access in there because we really want people to be able to play with the toys well yeah as that soon makes as possible. Sense. yeah um but you have to go out and recruit you'll get one to start with and then you have to go out and and recruit the other factions okay. to join you. okay well that makes sense as a flamethrower chap here. Yep, that's one of the new enemies, oh, is the Purifier. So are these, these are still Advent that we're fighting right now? Yeah, these are still Advent. Okay. So these guys are Advent. Oh yeah, Justice is one of their... Uh, Should we give that a little cheeky go here? Yeah, sure. 93% chance. Just um, gonna pull him over, up here. Right. <laughs> yeah, and so the thing... Nice, okay. Wow, okay, I still gotta kill that guy, but that was a pretty good shot. And then, um, oh yeah, see, perfect. Um, and so, the thing to be careful. Oh, oh yeah. The thing to be careful about. Right. <laughs> the thing to be careful about is that. I killed Mox. Is that purifiers? <laughs> no. Shall we? We'll just restart the first part. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, I was about to say the thing to be careful about is purifiers because <laughs> they're flamethrower units and have a giant tank on their back. If you kill them, then. They can explode. Well, now They're, I know. There okay. is a chance that they will explode. <laughs> I should have funny. known. I should have known. Obviously, with the it is the muton that when you when you kill those guys, they let out a radiation or like right. a, a sort of poison around them. So like similar to that. Oh god. Okay, I've just managed to kill everybody. That was good. That's uh, there, there had to be a failure here, guys. Right. I couldn't just That's walk right. the whole thing. That's that right. So there's one of the surprises, basically. <laughs> They can fire their bullpup and move in any direction, was that? They just said that. Oh, they can fire and move. They can do whatever they want with either of their actions, basically. Oh, great. Okay. That's fantastic. So there's no, no worrying about sort of abilities to give them free turns and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, they have abilities. In, in fact, the, the Skirmisher, they have an ability at the very, very end, a very expensive ability called Battle Lord, which means that the Skirmisher, during the AI turn, Every time an enemy moves, the skirmisher gets to immediately take an action. 
So wow. basically, we've reversed the ruler mechanic and given it to one of your souls. So this is this is like Snake King territory, yeah, isn't that's it? Right, that's, oh, that's right. That's awesome. And so the skirmisher gets to do that once per mission at the, and that's a very expensive ability at the top of the tree. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the battle lord basically turns them into an alien ruler, and so they can basically take a ton. If you have a bunch of enemies around you, they take a ton of actions, and so they get really powerful. Oh, that is awesome. It sounds like you guys have put a lot of sort of thought into how to, to really make these guys properly badass. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it has made balance kind of a nightmare on both sides. So again, it's the sort of peaks and valleys things where, you know, to balance them out, we've had to add these really hard new enemies, and so it creates yeah. interesting situations. But I mean, as you said already, you've, you've, you've kind of uh, like upgraded and optimized a lot of the the existing That's right. uh, units yep. as well, so there, there shouldn't be a, a situation where I'm going to blow this, this thing for a guy up. Is that, are they both flamethrower guys? They are, aren't they? They are both. These are both purifiers here. Damn. Okay. Now, do they... Are they affected by burning? They are immune to yeah, burning. I would have thought yes. they would be. Yes, they are immune <laughs> to burning. That makes sense. Okay. Um, they are actually kind of like the Advent's answer to the Lost. Mm -hmm. And so they are very deadly against the Lost. And so, in fact, purifiers will probably ignore... If there are any Lost visible, they're going to ignore you and go after them. Basically. Don't want to drag this guy. Don't want to make the same mistake I did last time. Don't want to drag one of these guys That's up right. here. So we'll use the bullpup for now. So if it's a fire removal situation, can we fire two times with our actions then? Yeah, you can okay. fire twice. You can. So that was a missed shot. So and then they can. Try again. They can also grapple and fire twice in a turn. They can do, you know. Because the grapple's a free action. That's right. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, well, watch me get burned to death here. Oh, we got Wayne. I want a ability point from a height advantage shot. That's right. So again, if you pull off nice tactical moves, we really want to reward you for that, basically. Okay. Right, so somebody, they just try to attack you with the flamethrower, but they miss. So yeah. as long as you're in cover, th there's a chance that they're going to miss with the flamethrower. And they wow. did. They missed. But now you're surrounded by flames. Yeah, exactly. So that's going to be... Oh, no, it's okay. It's just the, the there that the fire's going to stay. That means if I just stay in this position, I should be okay. 62% yeah. chance to hit. Good. Nice down. And there's Central telling me that I'm an idiot for right. shooting at that guy the first time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're almost there. Let's try, let's try a lightning hands free action and see if we can just finish this guy off. Boom! There, that's, that's boom. He explodes. Perfect. I think that truck's about to blow too. Yeah, I can't move that guy out there though. You might be able. Well, actually, I don't have action. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't have an action for him. No. He's gonna have to just. He might just blow up. Bang! Ah, oh, no. Ah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, so I can lose that guy. That's fine then. That was more of an uh, expendable unit. That's right. That's an expendable. I like the new um, KA updates coming up. The show yeah, who's, yeah, who's been killed. That's cause... right. So we've added. A, yeah, there's a whole new. That's like one of the smaller but like really friendly features we've added, which is that. Um, and oh, and I got I got to show you another feature we've added. Once we have some enemies on the board, I'll show you some other features. Cool. Um, but yeah, we had a whole new messaging system to sort of like prioritize messages, so big ones will give you the, the large messaging. Well, that's great because a lot of the time when we have played in the past, like a lot of time because we we play this game on stream, we name characters after um, of course viewers, you know, right. and uh, a lot of the time a character might die and it takes a while to figure out who it was that died. Yeah. So having that on the screen is coming yep. straight away for us. Oh, great. you'll know right away. That's best way to kick some ass. Right. Mox is basically cinematically wiping out a bunch of purifiers for us. <laughs> he and doesn't again, give two shits, does he? He's happy. That's right. And the, the problem, of course, is that explosives... So the use of any explosives will draw lost. If there are any lost around, right. basically lost are always appearing. And so if, if any explosives go off, like, like big swarms of lost will appear. And so here you go. This is a case where now we're going to start to see swarms of these lost appearing. So even on a mission where it, where the syrup didn't say anything about lost, if we use explosives, that can trigger lost anyway. Oh, you have to have lost around. So the, as long oh, right, as there okay. are lost there on the syrup, then the thing is, every time you use explosives, because explosives would normally be great against this like bunched up, you know, low hit point enemy. The yeah. problem, of course, is that using lost against them is just going to draw more and more of them. So you have to be really careful. That makes sense. But then if I manage to kill the lost that I found here without using explosives, that should quell the threat for now. For now, but yeah. they'll come back. They'll yeah. just keep coming, basically. Okay. <laughs> that's not good. Right, okay, well, I've got those. Nice, you're headshotting away, that's great. Well, yeah, sniper rifle, dude, you know, it's doing well. Uh, there's no one there, so we'll just move up a little bit. Oh, one thing, okay, here, let me show you this. Yeah, sure. Alright, so a new feature now is if, if you hold down the Alt key, mm -hmm. 
Um, now it will actually preview any enemies you can see from wherever your movement location is. Oh wow! Cool. So now you can say like, oh, if I move here, it'll now tell you like who's available. And again, this is kind of a nerdy feature, but for power players, like the idea now is that you can say like, okay, it will tell me exactly who I can attack yeah. from any particular position. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well, that's really useful. So yeah. I can see two units here in full cover, so I may as well head over here. And then we've got opportunity to take out, hopefully. Both of these guys, but we'll see how it goes. It's a kill. That's one. And the second one, 61%. And that's good. There you go. Done and done. And then we can move up to the full cover up here. And then just go to here. And we're good. So we've lost a unit, but we're still we're still tailing it. Yep. But oh. more lost coming. Here again. they come. So this is kind of a, a situation where um, you can't really trench yourself in because no. it's a constant fight you can't. that you're going to have to That's deal right. with. You're all, you always kind of have to move. And okay. so, yeah, the idea is that the numbers get big enough that you're always going to have to move. So this is sort of like a soft timer. There, uh, We've added a ton of new missions. A ton of new missions in the expansion pack. New mission types. Um, and the lost function is sort of like a soft timer where you just can't sit there um, and take your time. And, you know, typically missions with the lost aren't timed because... The lost themselves of their own sort of thing. Yeah, because they, they, they slowly but surely just mm -hmm. get faster and faster yep. and attack. So is there anything to... So here to you go, using a grenade, and that, what well, that's going to do... Oh, is, yeah, that's going to trigger some more of these guys. Yeah, so now it's going to draw um, a few more lost, you know, eventually. And so. Oh, my God. I didn't I didn't even think... Damn, okay. Well, I can't go into that because I've got fire, so I have to move back to try to defend this guy a little bit. Come on, Amanda. Let's get some kills, shall we? So the, 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 the fact that they are slowly increasing and stuff stops us from just sort of sitting around constantly yep. killing them and getting like loads of experience points right. by just waiting. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Let's get the reload on, see if we can get the rest of these guys before we get ruined here. I think we should be okay. No, we're oh, not! Oh, that's not good. Wow, okay. That's alright. One last isn't oh. going to do that much to oh, you. Oh, pistol air force just appears to be good. Yeah. How's Echo oh. nearby? A swarm is very close. Yeah, so that's letting you know that there's another swarm that's basically going to show up next turn. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's frustrating. Terrible luck. They, so they, 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 I guess... Do the, do the, uh, the Lost have just one uh, move and action ability? Because he's moving in close, but he's not actually hitting us. Yeah, they've got really, sh they've got limited mobility. Although we have, we have, there are actually multiple kinds of Lost. So there, okay. are, there are dashers that can move really far, mm -hmm. um, and then we have brutes that have tons of hit points. Um, and then, but these are just the standard, you know, bog standard loss that they, they are kind of slow. And so it takes them a while to get next to you. And even yeah. then it's going to take them another turn to attack you. I mean, these guys are, are hard enough. We don't, don't need to go any harder right. than this. This is fine. Right. We'll, we'll just have these guys. <laughs> uh, pistol shot's going to be 80% chance to hit. That should be pretty good. Yeah, okay. yeah beautiful. Right. So next turn, we should be allowed to, um, Go, I think. Oh, and here's There's the plenty more coming though. Yep, here comes the swarm. So that's a dasher there. So those guys there, they can move really far. Right. So now we just need to get the evac zone. And okay. I'm not gonna run for it. <laughs> There's too many lost now. I wonder if I can get my uh, my grappling hook to really help me get the hell out of dodge. Oh really? Just, just to the there? Wrong way. That's not good. Let's try moving into open space. Yeah, it's not gonna open space there. is fine against the lost. Oh I, yeah, that's true. I'm not I'm 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 focusing a lot on uh, on cover when I guess against the lost I don't need to be. Because they're only melee. Alright. Okay, let's just run like hell and just run. see see how far we can get. Oh that's right, I was wondering where your third guy was. That's right. Yeah. He's his body, he's, he's back there Dice. burning. Yeah. We'll become a lost later on, I'm right, sure. Right, right, that's right, he'll come back, you'll see him. <laughs> that would be really cool, actually. If, if, the, if the lost could, like, embody dead characters <laughs> in the same way that, um... It's actually a great idea. Spectres can. You'll well, see, I've like, got, a, like, two months before the game. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. Just pop it in yeah. there. Yeah. You know, you just, like, see a little cutscene where a lost, like, walks up with hot pants, pink <laughs> pants, just like, Rah! Ready to kill you. Oh, that's, that's uh, Dave, Oh my Dave's god, it's back. Timmy! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'd recognize those shorts anywhere. <laughs> the ponytails and the shorts, that's definitely Dave. And then the relationship thing that can make them panic because it's their, their lover right. or whatever they see. Uh, you see? Yep. 
If any like jobs that. going for Axis, like I'm that. your man, you know. Like I've got it. all this kind of stuff ready to go. Okay, here they are. They're meeting each other. So this is the skirmisher and the Reaper, basically. You've brought them together. But they hate each other. They hate each other. So now they're facing off. Okay. Comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. another like her. They are the undying Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Wow. All right, so <laughs> there we've seen another new element to the expansion did they, they said the faceless yeah this is those are the chosen right okay right and so that's a whole new enemy type and so there are three distinct characters that the player is going to face over the course of the game and they all have different fighting styles and you're going to fight them multiple times you have to fight them multiple times over the course of the game so three new enemy chosen characters that's right. right three okay. new enemy chosen characters they're, they're named characters they have their own completely distinct fighting styles the assassin she's all about stealth and close quarters combat. Okay. Um, and there, there are a couple others as well. And and so then, you fight them multiple times. You get used to them. But just like the player, they actually um, level up over the course of the game. And so they actually will gain procedural strengths okay. every time they level up. So every time you face them, they're going to have new strengths that they face you with new abilities. And and so it's always an, sort of an interesting every time you fight them. And over multiple playthroughs, they may have different abilities, um, different sort of strengths that you have to deal with. They're kind of like growing with you as the story progresses. That's right. That kind That's of thing. right. So they're okay. integral to the story, and their, their job is basically to hunt the player down. And so they do a lot of stuff on the strategy layer as well. They're not just tactical enemies. They do a lot of things on the strategy layer as well. So okay. the Chosen are a really big part of the new expansion thing. I guess that's why they named it that, I suppose. Because they are, they are chosen. They are chosen. So it's it's kind of like a um, like a expected gadget kind of. Like, I'll get you next time. That yeah, kind of thing. exactly. So they always get away. That's right. They have this special like uh, jetpack or something to get out That's of the right. way. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. There's this giant teleporter beam. The um. The car that's snaking again. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. can just pop out. Boom, that's right. There you go. That's right. And so. Look at that gun! Wow. Yeah, that's a big. You don't want to get hit with that. And so there you see like her strengths and her weaknesses and these are procedural um, and okay. so the idea is that she's got a couple of weaknesses which means that okay if you if you can hit her three times in a single turn attacks after that will do a bunch more damage so you always want to like so the way you you defeat her is basically and also she's weak to reapers and yeah. so the idea is that reapers are going to do extra damage to her also if you can chain a bunch of attacks against her in a turn you'll do a bunch of damage and you have to take that into account her strengths, though, again, these are these are random every time you face them. So her, she's immune to explosions, so don't throw grenades at her because yeah. they won't do anything. And completely basically. immune to Overwatch Completely as well. immune to Overwatch as well. So then, and again, that's, so every time you're facing these Chosen, they're going to gain more strengths. They, the okay. different Chosen have different strengths, so you just have to face them differently. Every time you play, you have to face them differently. And so. so these strengths and weaknesses that, that we have now and that end progress through the game, are they the same for every play? Or are they different each different time? Different every time. Different every Fantastic. time. Fantastic. That's and awesome. so again, as, as you say, like adding that variability... Even from, you know, mission to mission, chosen to chosen, there's yeah. just that sort of, okay, this one I have to, I can't use explosives, or Overwatch against this chosen, maybe the other one I have to do something different. So replayability is a, is a real key thing yeah, here, because you it's, can it's, find a, a someone that is going to be really hard to beat because they have certain strengths and weaknesses that's right. that just don't play well to your strengths. That's right, and, and the idea is that you really have to... you. you you don't have to do anything with the Chosen. They're a more organic system. Mm -hmm. But you really, what you want to do is hunt them down and give them their sort of like. You can actually 
kill the Chosen, but you have to hunt them down with the help of the factions. And so you have to determine which Chosen do I want to hunt down first. Um, okay. And it's a, it's a complicated process, but you really don't want to allow them to reach their top level because right. once they do, they're incredibly difficult both on the strategy layer and on the combat layer. They're really difficult enemies. So you meet one, you think to yourself, I can't I can't deal with that. I need to try to kill that guy first. Right. Otherwise, I'm I'm in trouble. You know yep. that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, makes sense. Right. Okay. So they've come in. Right. Bending Road. Yeah, so she's got Bending Reed, which means that after oh, she makes attacks, she can actually run away. No! Come so, back! Oh my god. <laughs> and so what she's done here, she's basically dazed. So the, the other thing the Chosen do is, Aaron, it's telling you here, basically, when they, whenever they attack um, your soldiers, yeah, they, they daze them. And that means that what they're going to want to do, the Chosen really want to, they don't want to deal a lot of damage. They actually, they want to gain information. And so they can either interrogate your soldiers on the battlefield, they can even run up to them. If they're dazed, they can run up, grab them, and teleport out with the soldiers. They actually okay. capture your soldiers that you'll have to go and rescue later. But they maintain a uh, disorientation um, They debuff. can. So yeah, okay. if you revive them, they can be disoriented once you revive them. Right, okay. Which is something we don't want to happen, because then everyone's not going to be able to shoot for anything. Right. Let's see if we get some damage down. Okay. Right. Adversary. And, right, and so ah. she does extra damage to... The reapers now, chosen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the reapers do extra damage to that that particular okay. chosen. So with the you have three uh, sort of chosen enemies. Yeah. Are the the reapers uh, and um, all those different characters? Do they are they just one of each that you get again? The same kind of thing. Yeah, and you can actually get two of, of one faction. It's really difficult to do, but you can. But they're just so powerful. We we try to limit how okay. many the player can have access to. But I mean, if if they die. You then will give you a chance to get another one. We'll oh, okay. Make sure, even if they I'll die. Also, you're only one at any one yeah, time. Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Well, he's disoriented, so he's not yeah, gonna. Yeah. He's not about to do anything. But I can come into sort of here. Maybe get a little area of effect going on here. I think. If I get that grenade going, maybe we'll be able to get a uh, a nice little explosion on that car before the turn's over as well. And remember. Oh, no. Ex ex remember. Oh, no. Remember, I wasn't going to tell you because, yeah, <laughs> she has Blast Shield, which means that she's immune to. That's not going to do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything to her. And the car's not going to do anything yeah. either. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I've ruined it for myself. Hang on. Can but I... that's that's basically how they play, you know, is that you go, and I've done that I don't know how many times. Well, yeah. I'll go do something, and I'm like, wait. And so, of course, we have that icon up there that you can always click on to bring their, you know, you know, the stats up. Yeah, bring yep. the stats up and be like, oh yeah, that one's immune to this, that, and Right, so that's always there, oh. so if you forget. Right, and so here's one of her... Oh my god, she's so hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> this ability is pretty powerful. Yeah, because she can daze multiple units with that, and luckily, um, some of your units resisted that, I think. Oh, you've got one! Oh okay. my god. So, you've got two units... You've got two units that can revive. Um, yeah, so the key here is to try to keep everybody from getting dazed, otherwise... We're that's screwed. right, because if a unit is dazed, she will come She will come after them. And so... So now, she has one action left, and uh, so you can sort of chain revive these. Oh, it's because the revive is free, so I can get there and then use the revive after that? That's right, that's okay. right. So you can run and revive. Revive is a free action. Okay. Kind of the same way that you can use both your actions, but you can still be back. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's okay. exactly how it works. So poor Mox has been dazed many, many times. So that's... Can I still get there? Yes, I can. Put some cover here. And you know, that's and that's kind of how the Chosen work, is we don't want them to be like massive damage dealers, but they just incapacitate you. And mm. so again, as you see here, like, she basically is disoriented, so your squad, you know, had to spend a turn, and she's still going to be out there. Yeah, so she's still a major issue for us, and we've had to spend all of our actions, like, trying to recover from that loss. Right. Okay. Let's move up to a little closer. 65% pistol shot. It's not going to be great, but it's a miss anyways. <laughs> That's not good. So it kind of, again, it's like playing to strengths and weaknesses. It's kind of that's important right. to sort of spread out a bit so we can't get affected by those kind of that's, those shots. Yeah, that's exactly right. And each of the Chosen have, of course, different, totally different attacks that they do. You know? Yeah. One of them is a hunter who is a long-range sniper Chosen. Oh, there's her. Okay, so there's another one for her. So she is now gone into stealth, and so now you don't know where she is. <laughs> and there's, there's no way to counter that? That's just a... She's gone for a bit. Well, <laughs> you, so you've got items that can counter. Also, if you flank her, wherever she is, if you can flank her, then it will reveal her. 
So, oh, right, okay. But, of course, you don't know where she is right now. Well, because she, yes, her first action was to go invisible, so now she's moved somewhere. Right, she's moved somewhere, and so now... But she's not affected by Overwatch. Right. So there's not much point in me using the Overwatch situation here, so I should probably just keep on trying to flank That's her. right, so normally you would use Overwatch, because like she's yeah. got to make an appearance sometime, yeah. but she happens to be immune to Overwatch, so... So you have to go kind of hunt her down, but knowing that she's going to pop in on you somewhere. She must be somewhere. I'm kind of like okay. trying to second guess the right. AI here a little bit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, and this might be a bit more difficult than I thought. Uh, let's try going up this way as well then. Uh, I've pretty much used up all of our uh, move actions here. And that's it. And see, normally you, a very seasoned excellent player. Oh, there she, no, I did, I did uncover her. Oh, you her. did She's uncover there. there she is. I she was waiting it. right there. Good I job. was supposed oh, to get an action she... or something, and she just destroyed Mox. Oh, no! no. Which means the mission's over. Oh, man. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we'll we'll leave it there. Yeah. I think that's, that's yeah. quite a good time. I didn't manage to completely oh, successfully get this, but hopefully you guys can. Uh, the game itself is out on... Uh, August 29th. August 29th, so you guys can pick that up on, I imagine, Steam and yep. any good... All, all platforms, so you can you can get it on um, uh, PC, on Xbox One. This is on console day one as well. Yeah, day one. So Fantastic. yeah, it's, it's simultaneous wow. on, on all. Oh, that's awesome. So hopefully you guys pick it up, and obviously we'll be streaming this uh, pretty much as soon as it comes out, hopefully. So uh, we'll see you guys there. Thank you so much for joining me, buddy. Thank you I appreciate very much. it. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. You've been watching the Gafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.